Hello. In this short video, I will introduce the Julia REPEL. REPEL stands for Read, Eval, Print, Loop. That's the interactive uh, window of Julia, if you want. So you can enter it by typing Julia in your terminal. If you're on Windows, you can double click the Julia icon. And you can see that the prompt says Julia. That's the default mode or the Julian mode, and that's the one you will be using most of the time. In this mode, you can type um, regular commands and type tab completion does work, as well as most of the Emacs key bindings that are pretty standard in most terminals. For instance, control P to uh, go back in history, control N to move forward in history, control R to do a reverse search in your history, control G uh, to cancel, control S to do a forward search. If these sound really weird key bindings to you, um, they're Emacs key bindings. So the Emacs users will be right at home. For those who are familiar with uh, the classic shells will be right at home as well. But do know that you can customize them if you want. Now, what's really cool about the Julia Repel is that in addition to this Julian mod, there are three other modes that are kind of funky and kind of cool. First one is the help mod. To get into it, just press the question mark on your keyboard and path. You can see the uh, prompt now says help. This is how you can access any of the internal documentation of Julia. For instance, you looking for, you're looking for some info on a function, say the function sum, type sum, enter, et voila. This is the um, documentation for sum. Now, another of those cool little modes is the shell mode. You enter it by pressing the semicolon. Now it says shell and this is just like a simple shell in which you can enter standard shell commands for instance ls will list your file um, i got back into the default mode as i pressed enter so if i want to type another shell command semicolon again and as with the help mode backspace take me back to the default mode so semicolon um, ls minus a, there we go. Semicolon again, I'm in shell, uh, backspace, I'm in regular mode, question mark, I'm in help, backspace, back to um, the regular mode. Now, the last uh, of those cool mode is the package mode. To enter it, you type the right square bracket, and in this mode, you can do your regular um, package maintenance um, uh, activities. For instance, you can check the status of all of your packages. For this, either you type status or just ST, both work. And this lists all of the external packages that you have installed. <coughs> Excuse me. So not the ones that come with a standard library that uh, does that get installed as you install Julia aren't listed here. And the dependencies of packages aren't listed here either. This is the list of the packages that you have explicitly installed. And that's very convenient. And you can see their version. You can see the latest commit. And you can also see um, the environment in which you are. This is also something that you can see at the start of the package prompt, v1.4 is the, the environment in which I am currently. And that's version 1.4, which is the, the current Julia version. But you can create additional environments. And that's very convenient because you can install uh, whatever package at whatever version you want in these virtual environments so that you can have different instances of different packages in different combinations, and you can change environment, um, the which is just uh, pretty cool and convenient. So another of uh, the um, external package maintenance uh, task that you might want to perform is to update all of your packages. 
So you can type simply, simply up or the full update, both work equally. And that is going to update all of those external packages and their dependencies if needed. So let's give it a little second. There we go. No changes because I've been running this uh, very recently. If you want to check the status of a single of these packages instead of all of them, say I like to have information on the package Flux, which you can see is one of the packages that I have installed. This gets me only the information for Flux. Uh, similarly, if you type up Flux, that's going to update only uh, Flux. If you want to add a new, uh, to install a new package, add and the name of your package. If you want to remove a package, rm and the name of that package. And as with other of the cool mods, Backspace takes you back into the regular uh, Julia prompt. So this is a very short overview of, of the Julia repel, but hopefully this helps you access help. Don't hesitate to make a lot of use of it. Uh, install and update your packages in a more convenient way. And access the shell whenever that's practical for you. Oh, and one last thing, to exit, you can type exit, but you can also simply press Control D, which is another of the very standard uh, shell key. All right, that's it for this little video. <laughs>